So the big stuff when it came to this year's predictions were really nothing earth shattering. Now, mind you, well, at least for us, we saw we had enough lead time. We we saw a lot of stuff coming. The other half of it is that um, there was stuff that I was very happy to be surprised about. When we share predictions for stuff like that on the Watercraft Journal, it's not going to be done in the video. It's going to be done in the article. Uh, typically because we hyperlink to different things. Typically because I like to connect to sources. The other half of it is that when I do, uh, we write it underneath the, the heading um, uh, actually it's right here is vicious rumors and vile gossip. It's meant to be tongue in cheek. It's meant to be fun. All right. Vicious rumors and vile gossip. All right. It's meant to be kind of fun. Well, corporate BRP hates these articles to the point that they asked me not to do any more vicious rumors and vile gossip uh, articles on CDU. They basically like stop it. And the reason being, for the most part, is what were to happen, just for fun, what, what would happen if I get hard confirmation that Austria, that Rotax in Austria, on their private lake, are testing a 330 horsepower ACE engine. And that the RS International model is doing baseline 75, 76 miles an hour. The US, it's still the US will still cap off at 70, 71 before backing off. But they're seeing acceleration times that are blowing the current 300 ace motor out of the water. And I start saying, guys, they're doing a 330 horse motor. They're going after Cowie. We got new horsepower wars. This is the new engine. This thing's coming out next year. What would that article do to 2022 sales? It would kill 2022 sales because everyone would be like, I'm waiting for 23. I want the three, the 330 horse motor. I want to be the baddest dude in town. He's going to wait for that 330 horse, uh, 330 imaginary. It doesn't exist. I don't know of one. I literally pulled it out of the ether. All right. Don't think I'm dropping hints. I'm not. I literally made it up. All right. But what were to happen if I said cdu has got a 330 horse engine set up, they're testing it in anticipation for the Cowie because they know they're going into a horsepower war. A lot of you dudes would flip out, right? You'd flip. And all of a sudden, the you know, the 2022 model sales would take a dump. So that's why they're like, please stop doing this. You're killing us. Right? Okay. So, Sidu does not like the vicious rumors and vile gossip articles. And the primary reason is because I typically, again, get 80, 85 to 90% of the information right. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.